Well, we're back in the archive. Yes. I'm in the same suit, but we're back in the archive, and it's <laughs> definitely a different day. I'm with Flo Perry. Hello. Flo, introduce yourselves for the audience who may not know foolishly who you are. I am Flo Perry. I am a portrait artist. Succinct. <laughs> to the point. You're a bit more writer. I've done some writing, some illustrating. What, did, what drew you to the medium of portraiture? Because it's quite, I would say, as someone who has no experience, in artistry other than doing it at school for a bit. Portraiture is hard. Yes, it's definitely hard, but it's like the most interesting thing to paint. Like people are the most interesting thing in like the world. And I think that like drawing like, I don't know, when you I feel like when you're doing like figurative art, you're always trying to do something that's not a photograph. Anyway, I am. It's like, how can I make this better than a photograph? Because obviously photos are really good. <laughs> so it's like, I think, you know, painting someone, you see a new side of them, you see like, you know, what bits of them stand up to you as the artist. Is there an emergence or correlation between your artistic identity and your identity within the LGBTQ plus community? Do you feel like they fluctuate? Do they help each other or are they, are they separate? Do they, they don't talk? Um, well, like I create art about, when I'm like not doing commissions, when I'm doing like my personal stuff, I do just paint my life and I, I am a lesbian and I am in a lesbian relationship um, and so obviously I suppose that is part of it like I've done like a lot of pictures of my girlfriend and it's just like well because she's always there yeah. <laughs> and I think she's gorgeous of course <laughs> yeah and so it's like yeah that's who I want to paint the most it feels strange being like how does your identity like influence your creative process because it's just like well I can't separate the lesbian part of me from yeah. the artist part of me. I was just like, I am a lesbian artist and therefore, you know, even when I paint like a cat, it's like... <laughs> the lesbian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. The lesbian cat. Now, Clang, you had your portrait taken as part of the gallery's collection mm -hmm. by the incredible Martin Parr in mm -hmm. 2012. Talk to me about that experience because you're looking very jazzy. It was like an optical illusion almost. Thank you. Um, well, it was really like my parents' idea and like my parents, like a family portrait. Um, I was 19. I remember I was actually really hungover on the day that that was taken. Sure. Uh, my parents were like, you have to be, we were, I was like separate from my parents for a reason. And they were like, you have to be at this location at this time. And it was like 6 p.m. and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And they were like, you have to wear, it was all my parents' idea. They were like, you have to wear as many clashing patterns as possible. And then that was like the theme that they decided. Um, Great for a hangover. Now this is for Pride. Mm -hmm. For you, I think, what is Pride to you? A bland question. <laughs> How do you embody Pride? What's Pride to me? Pride for me is um, a kind of a very hot and sweaty day where you are never close enough to a toilet and kind of a bit tired by 9.30 p.m. That's true. <laughs> That's every day. <laughs> but generally, the concept of Pride um, is just, I mean, yeah, I love being a lesbian. It's like the best thing about my life. Yeah. Like. <laughs>